Well, first it was killer hornets and then cicadas, and now another insect is invading northeast Ohio. They're called army worms, and they're destroying perfectly healthy lawns in just a matter of days. Fox H Jennifer Jordan joining us now live with how property owners are dealing with these pesky problems. Jennifer? Well, Tracy Lou, apparently all the hot and humid weather we've been experiencing over the past several weeks or so is the reason for this slimy invasion. Beautiful green lawns turning to brown straw literally overnight. I didn't understand what was going on. Yeah. I thought it was my dog. But it wasn't the dog. Joyce Zaber's Sheffield Lake backyard, one of the many lush green landscapes browning out quickly, damaged by thousands of these squiggly black insects called army worms. An army worm is an absolute nuisance to us. Sean Kiefer is the director of operations of Brian Kyle's Landscaping, hired by Joyce, as well as hundreds of other clients throughout Northeast Ohio in recent days to deal with this problem. He and his team say the hot and humid summer days are creating conditions for these worms to thrive and multiply. What you're going to see are just large patches of brown. Um, the thing that we have in our favor is that this army worm doesn't feed on the roots. It feeds on the actual foliage. So where exactly do these ugly little critters come from? Believe it or not, they're a big issue in the southern states. But when tropical storms hit and at just the right time, they can carry their adult and eggs into northern states. Left untreated, the army worms can cause significant damage to lawns. Treatment of a certain pesticide, experts say, killing the worms within several days. What we've learned is bifenthrin is the number one chemical that people are using to, to try to eradicate these. And homeowner Joyce Zaber can hopefully see her backyard healthy and green once again within a few weeks. I love sitting in my sunroom and looking out in my backyard. I just love it. And you don't have to wait until your property is damaged to be proactive. They say you can treat your lawns early before these worms strike. But keep in mind, this pesticides that they use can be toxic to dogs and cats. Oh Tracy boy. Lou, they say once your lawn is sprayed, you have to wait about 24 hours before allowing your dogs back out on the grass. Okay, Jennifer, I've been talking about this for the last two hours now, and I got to call my lawn service. Uh, Lou actually had somebody come out and, and look at his yard, and what did he say? They just marched from one They yard marched to the like an army from yard oh. to yard to yard. My neighbor, three houses yeah. down, had the problem. I called my landscape expert out, and he dropped soapy uh -huh. water on the lawn because he said that would bring up the worms. Didn't detect anything, but he did say keep an eye on it because you never know. Yep, that was one of the things that the landscaper told us earlier today. If, you, if you're suspicious or curious if, in fact, they are on your property, that soapy water really works. Oh, my gosh. All right, Jennifer, thank you. Great yes. information. Always something to be concerned yeah. about if you're a homeowner. Well, time now.